Hi, this is to would like to share the limit of sine x over x. Consider the unit circle, we have radius equal to 1. Since OP and OD are both the radii of this circle, so they have a length of 1 unit. To obtain the length of AD and the length of BC, we can make use of the trigonometric ratios. Consider sine x is equal to opposite over hypotenuse and cos x is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse while tangent x is equal to opposite over adjacent let's substitute the value if x is here the angle is here so opposite of the angle is the length of ad and the hypotenuse is equal to one unit so sine x is equal to AD over 1. In other words, AD is equal to sine x. Let's label here sine x. And for cos x, since we have insufficient information, AB is not known, DC is not known, we can ignore this ratio. Since our intention is not obtain the ratio, but the length AD and BC. Now proceed to the tangent. Opposite, we have BC divided by the adjacent, which is the radius 1 unit. So, tangent x is equal to BC over 1, or BC is equal to tangent x. So, label here tangent x. Now, we have sufficient information to obtain the limit. We are going to make use of areas to evaluate the limit. Consider the triangle OBD, the sector OBD, and the triangle OBC. If you notice carefully, we will obtain the relationship that the area of triangle OBD is less than the area of the sector OBD and is less than the area of triangle OBC. They're supposed to have this relationship. And our intention is to obtain the limit where x is small enough and approaches zero. In other words, they may simply overlap each other and exactly equal for the area since x is very small. From here, we should determine the areas. Let's recall the formula. For the triangle, we have 1 over 2 times b times height. Let's Substitute the information that we obtain for the length OB, which is the radius of a circle, we have length of 1, and AD, the height, has the length of sine x, which means that the area of this triangle is equal to 1 over 2 times space 1 times height sine x. Simplify, we obtain 1 over 2 times sine x. And for the second area, we have the sector OBD. Recall the formula is equal to 1 over 2 r square theta. r is the radius which is 1 unit and theta is the angle x. So which means that we have 1 over 2 times 1 square times theta x. So we have the relationship here 1 over 2 x is more than equal to 1 over 2 sine x. Lastly, the area of the triangle OBC. Substitute the value. BC is equal to tangent x. OB is the length of the radius 1 unit. So we have 1 over 2 times the base 1 times the height tangent x. So which means that we have 1 over 2 times tangent x. Let's simplify the relationship since all of them with common factor of 1 over 2 so we have sine x is less than equal to x and is less than equal to tangent x our intention is to obtain sine x over x so which means that i'm going to divide the entire inequality by sine x so sine x over sine x is equal to 1 and this is less than equal to x over sine x and this is less than equal to tangent x over sine x. Let's simplify. Recall that tangent x is equal to sine x over cos x. So which means that if we divide both sides by sine x, we should obtain sine x cancel with sine x and this is equal to 1 over 
cos x and the relationship should reduce to 1 is less than equal to x over sine x and is less than equal to 1 over cos x. From here we can see that what we need is sine x over x. In other words, we should take the reciprocal of the relationship. Consider if we have 1 over 2 is greater than 1 over 3, when we take reciprocal, that's supposed to become 2 and 3. And the relationship should be reversed. 2 is less than 3. In other words, when we take the reciprocal of this relationship, we should have cos x is less than equal to sine x over x is less than equal to 1. And we could now apply limit for this inequality as x approaches 0. When we substitute 0, cos 0 is equal to 1. And this is less than equal to the limit x approaches 0 for the function sine x over x. For this case, we don't have to substitute the value 0 for this function since our intention is to obtain the limit. And this is less than equal to 1 since 1 is a constant and not affected by the value of x. So when we apply limit, the value will still be 1. From here, we can see that 1 is exactly equal to 1. It's not more than, it's not less than. And hence, we prove that the limit x approaches 0 for the function sine x over x is exactly equal to 1 and hence we're done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.